What's up guys? Nerd the dips here. I'm not gonna be dipping in this video because it's late and I'm tired and I'm whoops. And I'm going to bed after this. But I'm just gonna give you a quick review on something really cool that I own. Oh. What is that? Holy shit. It's my ultra saber. Go ahead and flip the light on real quick, babe. I'll cover you over here so nobody sees you. Here. Go ahead. Flip the light on. Look, we can't even see you. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, I love you too. Now, get out of my video. Anyways. I'm not going to be dipping. But I am drinking some monster big fucking can. And I'm going to do a little review on Grizzly Premium Natural Extra Long Cut. This is my new everyday dip. I never did it before. I did it for the first time last night when I was out with my friend Toxic Judd, also known as Sane Effect on YouTube. Go like his, look at his page and like his videos and everything. He does a UFC video game stuff. And he's also thinking about doing For Honor gameplay. But anyways... Let's talk about the Ultra Saber after my cat leaves. Or he's gonna sit right there in front of the screen. Yelner, come on. Don't bite me. Anyways, so this hilt is 12 inches in total length. It's made out of aircraft aluminum and it's black with silver grooves in it. The button's silver as well. This hilt is called the Dark Initiate and uh, it's made by Ultra Sabers, my favorite lightsaber combat company. And the, oh, I can't remember what the blades are made out of. I want to say polycarbonate, like hard plastic, or, or carbon fiber. I think it might be carbon fiber. It's one of those. But, uh, yeah, it used to come with a film in here. I took it out because I use it just strictly for combat. I can't, oh, use, use, feel the dark side, feel the dark side, feel the dark side. Oh, you like the dark. Thank you. Anyways, the color is blazing red. I think it's called blazing red. I may be wrong. Yes, blazing red, and the orange one is, I think it's fire orange. But this is my favorite combination. I mean, look at it. It looks like a legit real lightsaber in the freaking camera. <laughs> I'm a Jedi. I'm a peace. Fuck your peace. It's a lie. Peace is a lie. There's only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall set me free. I am Sith. But yeah, it's a 36, yeah, 36 inch blade with a 12 inch hilt, giving it total of 48 inches in total length. And most lightsaber combat tournaments, which yes, they do really have these, where you learn the lightsaber forms, like. The form I specialize in is Makashi. It's the use of one-handed, and I also use Vapod. Um, Vapod is very unconventional, and it looks like it makes no sense, but if you really focus on a Vapod fighter, they have actual fluid movements and, and motions that they're doing to do these unorthodox strikes. It's like an unorthodox stance in UFC, or an un, excuse me, unorthodox fighting in UFC. But yeah. This is my Ultra Saber, the Dark Initiate, and uh, I love it. But yeah, there's no sound because it's considered combat. It's a stunt saber. It's strictly used for the fighting. And me and my buddies used to do it. My friend Vito, um, he has, I don't know, his are Saber Forge, so I don't know the name of the hilts. But he has two, and they go together for a Saber Staff, which is a, also known as the Double Bladed. Darth Maul is a famous... Saber Staff user, which I will make a video about Darth Maul in the future. And, um, yeah, uh, this is it. Dark Initiate, 48 inches in total length. Um, Blazing Red. Sith. You could also get pointed tips, but I got the rounded because pointed tips are frowned upon in case you accidentally jab. That hurts. But, yeah, these, this is my, bless you, Mjolnir. Bless you. This is my 
Ultra Saber. Check them out if you want to get a replica lightsaber. I'm pretty sure my cat's going to puke up a furball here in a second. Or he's just going to stretch. Oh, yes. What's wrong? What's wrong? Here. Here. Come here. Lay on the pillow. Yes. But yeah. That is my Ultra Saber. Check them out. Ultrasabers.com. They got really cool shit. If you don't like Ultra Saber stuff, you could also go to Saber Forge. But now I'm going to do my review on premium natural extra long cut grizzly it's not that much more long cut than long cut but it is a little bit extra it's not like stokers or anything stokers is ridiculous you can put hoggers in well, let me show you what it's like packed so oh wow i only have like a good pinch and a half left wow i didn't know i did that much but here it is packed I got like a pinch and a half left. I'll, I'll combine whatever I don't do in the morning with my other can I have. It's very natty. It's just it's what it's like Grizzly 1900. It's basically just nat, Grizz Grizz natty Grizzly natural now, and uh, it actually reminds me a lot of Copenhagen Long Cut. I know a lot of you older guys out there, a lot of you seasoned dippers like 15 plus years do Copenhagen Long Cut. This is a cheap alternative to Copenhagen Long Cut because here in Florida, well, my area of Florida, Copenhagen Long Cut is about six eighty three a can. It comes out to like seven, like seven twenty seven thirty something um, a can. And my brother in law Chris actually dips Copenhagen Long Cut two cans a fucking day. And uh, I like this. Reminds me just of Copenhagen Long Cut. Um, it's not as, I, I got extra long cut because the co the Grizzly Natural is a little less cut. It's more fine, like Copenhagen long cut is. So I just go with the extra long cut. I'm not a fan of fine cut. I just, it moves around too much for me. I can't keep it in my pockets here. But yeah, this is my new everyday dip. I love it. I've been through so many flavors and my mouth has just been exposed to so much flavor. From mint, wintergreen, cherry, apple, citrus. Excuse me. Citrus. Skull citrus. There I go again. Skull citrus. Also, skull fairy. Excuse me. Skull berry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say. Fairy. Anyways. I just been through so many flavors. I just, I got tired of, you know, which one do I want today? Which one do I want? So I was like, fuck it. I want to get my favorite brand, Grizzly. I'm going to get it in natural. Extra long cut. See how I like it. And I love it. It's a very natural, almost makes you like feel like you're part of the environment. I don't fucking know. It's just, you feel more earthy, like more, more get outdoors and just be in the woods and chop down some trees. Sorry, Nala. My lightsaber just fell on her. <laughs> the other cat. But it, it, it just reminds, it's, it's straight up tobacco flavor. Like it's a natural flavor. It's not mint or nothing. It, it's, it's. To me, it's so close to Copenhagen Long Cut that I'm pretty sure Copenhagen Long Cut users who need to be more budgety should do this. But you guys who do Copenhagen Long Cut might want to try out the uh, premium natural Grizzly, just regular Grizzly Natural or Grizzly Natural Fine Cut. Grizzly Natural is a kind of a bronze brass looking tin like uh, Copenhagen Long Cut and the natural fine cut is a red can, which looks really cool, actually. I have it around here somewhere. Oh, let me show you guys. I think I may have threw it, threw it out. Yeah, no, I, I threw it out. I don't see it anywhere. But, yeah. This is my everyday dip now. This is what I'm going to be doing from now on. Payday, if I have enough, I'm going to go buy a roll of it. I love it. I can't explain it. And it doesn't really... Gives you much crocodile, a little bit. Mind you, I've been dipping.